Damn. I'm here to clap it up, baby. Fucking, that hurt me. Can I say something right now? Yeah. I know you're going to do the AirPod headphones, not the iPod. Wow. The iPod? The iPod. The iPod. The, the iPod. <laughs> you just got back from Paris. How was so Paris? It was very good. Oh, uh, what's uh, the TikTok? You're like, you oh, the are, are, you, are, you, are you enjoying Paris? I, I definitely was enjoying Paris very much. Have you ever heard of the Paris Blues? No, what is that? So basically, a lot of people like dream. It's like their life wow. goal to go to Paris. Wow. It's like bucket list, right? Mm. Um, and then they end up going to Paris and it it's nothing what they expected it to be. Oh, man. So then they get the Paris Blues, like where they're like sad about it. It didn't meet their expectations. People literally dream about Paris. Bro, yeah. You're living people's dreams. How do you feel about that? Paris, the, <laughs> uh, an hour south, Paris by Riverside County? Yeah, yeah, Lake Paris, right there, G. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about Paris. What? Paris is just like Los Angeles. Okay. Um, a lot of people. Yeah. Um, things to do. Um, culture is great. Mm -hmm. um, baguettes. Uh huh. Baguettes. Um, smoked salmon. Ooh. Um, croquette. No, not. Oh well, yeah, there's croquettes. Yeah. Um, a lot of um, caviar. Ooh. And um, do you like caviar? What's the smell? I do. Escargot. Escargot, which I don't like. Yeah. I'm not eating a snail for what? Yeah, for what? But it's I'm delicious. A, Have you not had it? I'm a highly intelligent human with yeah. a podcast. Right. Why would I eat Why a snail? Why would I eat a snail? Yeah. You know? Unless I'm in the jungle and, like, you know, I'm starving. Yeah. yeah whatever. Yep. yep. So you don't like escargot? I don't. But you like bone marrow. But I'm not hating on escargot. There's people that like it's it. It's not like you're hating, it's your bit. Thing. you're hating a little bit. You're hating a little bit. Okay. You literally and like, I love bone you, marrow. You literally went to, I have a sophisticated podcast. Why would I eat car escargot? Yeah. But I'm not dissing it. You are, bro. <laughs> you are. But you like bone marrow. I love bone marrow. Okay, so for me, I'm the opposite. I don't. Th I think bone marrow is not it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not eating bone marrow like this. Like it seems <sighs> like you are, dude. It's just, it's like you do it and then like you put it like it's more like a topping. It's more like a topping. I like the way you said topping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a topping or it's like lo mezclas with like a salsa yeah yeah uh, yeah or like in el molcajete shit like that yeah yeah you know so you, you make would, like you a salsa take... tatemada and you put like bone marrow almost like a butter right like on yeah, a pan or something yeah, like yeah. that or you put it on top of your steak something yeah. like that I'm not a fan I can't, I can't get into it but I can get into escargot uh. anyways my whole point was I'm not gonna wear headphones this podcast because uh, I think I'm feeling myself with no, no nothing on. Let the people see the ears. Are you sure? Let the people see the ears. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel, I feel like I can hear you pretty loud and clear. Do you not feel in sync with me right now? No. I'm not gonna lie, neither do I. <laughs> I'm refuse to put them on. Let's see what happens. Okay. We're doing everything brand new. Um, yes. I got, them, I got them right here just in case. Okay. Maybe second half. Yeah. Because I mean, even if you put them on, it's not gonna make any difference from no, anything it else. No, difference. Right? Yeah. What are you drinking? Okay, so. I'm trying to be like, trying to like get away from coffee, but not really, just like not as much. Right. And there's this place by my house, it's called Enigma Coffee. I, I, I don't know. What did you say to me? Enigma? Well, we better watch your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> better pronounce it every single letter there, my Enigma. boy. Enigma. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is what it's called. Look, I'm not lying. I'm not trying to be funny. All right. Hey, man, I just came from Paris. It's all right, dude. Um, and uh, it's a tea. It's okay. like a. It's like a green tea. I think it's called like Casa Blanca is what they call it. I don't uh -huh. know. All right. So I'm just, you know, it's good. You want to taste it? This place called Enigma Coffee has a coffee called Casa Blanca tea. It's not a coffee. It's a tea. They have coffee there and it's great. Okay, it's I'll, actually really good. All right. Let me see. It's just subtle. It's nice. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm is there tequila craving here? a Coke Z right now, G. I'm craving a Coke Z. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. It's like, it kind of get used to like cigarettes. You don't really like you know cigarettes, but I, you gotta get used to them. All right, so I put, I put the straw in my mouth, right? I saw that. But, 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 but I, I, like I it in, in my way, I was like to avoid germs. I literally tucked my lips in. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's less they're bacteria. still there. I mean, my tongue was still all over this shit, and but at least my lips weren't touching. And I don't it. have germs. I just came back from Paris. Oh, so you're clean from Paris. Don't ever disrespect me like that. So I was saying about Paris okay. is um, I think a lot of people get disappointed because it's just like L.A., um, but not really because L.A., like, to me, yeah, LA's old, right? Yeah. Everything's old. Mm -hmm. But, bro, when you go to Paris, there's just so much history, bro. It's older. Like, it's way older, bro. Yeah. Like, the architecture throughout the city is just insane. And, you yeah. know, there's beautiful, beautiful things in Paris. There's so much history, like, about kings and queens and shit like that. It's amazing. So many artists. It's a very artistic city. Yeah. Um, and it's a city of love. And it's nice. So everything you just said on what Paris is beautiful is why people dream to go to Paris. Yeah. So what happens when you want to attend all that? Huh? 
So what, what 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 do you need to attend all the nice shit? What do you need? Like generally speaking, what do you need? Are you gonna say money? Yes, that's what it is, right? Yeah. Money and a lot of it. And I'm not yeah. saying I'm like, oh my god, I just blew yeah. all my money. No, but, <laughs> like, it, but it's it expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Splurge when we went to Paris. Sure, sure. We did. We enjoyed ourselves. Sure. Um, and we had a great time, but why? It's because you're just blowing money. You're just, you know, the nicest restaurants and the nicest hotels and this and that. But if you're not doing all that, you're still gonna have a great time. I'm not mm -hmm. saying you're not, mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. Cause no matter what, I'll stay in a, in a cottage or, or in a hostel and I'm still <laughs> gonna have a good time. What have you ever stayed in a cottage? You don't know me, guy. <laughs> you don't know you. You don't know me. <laughs> but if you're staying at the Four Seasons, okay. uh, Henry the Fifth, que no sé qué, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then you're you know, getting picked up in a sprinter van and doing this and that, wow. you know, you're going to have a great time. Yeah, you're yeah. going to the club and you're getting bottle service. You're yeah. going to have a good time. Yeah. So there's either or. Okay. I still think you can have a lot of fun if you don't do all that. Yeah. I think you definitely can. I think you can have, I can, I'm having fun right now and I'm not spending money. Right. I'm drinking my Enigma coffee. So your so your point is my point is is I think a lot of people get um, disencouraged, uh -huh. or they're like, ah, it wasn't really what I thought. And yeah, you're right. I mean, because you can't afford to experience. No, I'm not as saying. A, don't make it seem I'm just like. Just trying to understand you. Don't bro. make it seem like I'm <laughs> saying. Because you a broke bitch. No, That's why you don't like no, Paris. I'm not saying that. That's why you don't like Paris. You know, my mom has a quote. She says, "It's not expensive, meal, You just can't afford it." Yeah, a great quote. <laughs> and I'm like, Sorry, great mom. quote. It's like not expensive. You it, can't it's afford okay. It. It's okay. You 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 hustle and you hustle yeah. until you know you can splurge and you can yeah. you know take care of yourself. Um, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like, that, and, and that's not only Paris. That's everywhere in the world. So I think if you do that, but hey, I've been to Paris when I was splurging and I didn't have a good time. I think the French hate Americans. I mm. really think they do. You really do. felt that. You felt I, little... I felt that. And um, the, really. I, 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 is they, it rude or do you think the culture is just different? Or I think, it's, both? I, I think it's a little bit of both. I've been to New York and people are very rude yeah, there. Yeah, but they're, they're not trying there. to be. That's just the culture. That's just the way that they are. You know yep, what I mean? Yep. Hey, do you know where I can go to the, the Rite Aid, blah, 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 or the, the, the Roger... Oh, I forgot what it's called. Like their Rite Aid? Yeah, like their Rite Aid. Oh my God, I hate that. I don't remember. Uh, their Rite Aid? Something Dean. No, no, no. Roger Dean? Know, something like that. Jimmy Dean. Something like that. Everybody's in the comments going to let me know. Yeah. All the East Coast uh, people. I'll figure it out later. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just like that, you yeah, know? Like, yeah. you go here in California, people, they're like, hey, what's up, you yeah. know? There's people here that are rude, too, but the culture is different. Yeah. Um, I'm not just trying to, like, talk only about Paris, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, yeah, definitely cultures can, you know? For example, one time I went to Paris, and we went to this, you know, I wouldn't say the nicest restaurant, but it was a nice restaurant, and okay. we all sat down. Upscale? It was like, like an upscale restaurant? It was more than mid, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was like a sit-down, like, when they got nice napkins, that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like a yard house. Way no, nicer. way nicer. Okay, than yard like, house. like a mastro. Am I hitting on yard house? I love yard house. <laughs> I love yard house. Bro. <laughs> I love, love your great nachos. Um, but yeah, it's nicer than yard house. Okay. So we all sit down and in my in our minds, we're just gonna have drinks and maybe a couple of dwarves, you know, yeah. some appetizers, little apps. Um, and uh, we all sat down and blah blah. blah and he took our orders. They brought us our drinks and maybe a couple, you know, fried calamari. No sé qué. Wait, let me pause you right there. Um, because obviously you're you're in a different country. You're we're, we're speaking about Paris at the moment. Yeah. How was communication? Like, how how do you? Because obviously, I don't think any of you guys spoke French, right? One thing that you notice when you travel, um, a lot of people speak English. A lot of people speak English. Mm. Uh, whether it be not as well, so but like, everybody, like if you in the city, everyone's speaking English for yeah. the most part. Maybe not as good, but you get around easily. Really? Yeah. It's like you go to Mexico. When when uh, kids and young adults go to Mexico, even you can learn. Th they're teaching you English. Yeah, you know. Or you can just kind of point at what you want and like kind of you can yeah, gesture. Yeah, but I'm not like I'm not like in some like you know like for example like if I, I I've been to Tokyo and I think a lot of people also speak English there, but it's a a, a lot harder. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's mm. way like mm. what did you say? Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. like um, I think their their language if they try to speak english it's way difficult for them to sound out the words mm. than someone from paris i think or like from someone from mexico interesting yeah um i think i don't know like for example um when you write like in in spanish yeah it's the same letters as english gotcha so i think that you, it's a little maybe easier okay but like if you go to tokyo it's like you, you know it looks crazy i get what you're saying no, i mean it looks cool i never thought about it like that but i think that's you're why right. you have a, yeah. like a chinese tattoo yeah exactly too. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I, I I just think it's that. I think it's everywhere in the world. I think don't don't get discouraged about Paris. You know, I yeah. think it's a oh, it's an amazing. You you don't have to spend that much. You're I mean, you run the it, restaurant. It is expensive. That's the thing. Like it's euros. Right. Yeah. I, that's why I love going to Mexico. I'm not being biased because I'm Mexican. And yes, they do have the best food in the world. Oh my God! Thank God I'm back in LA because. 
I was, I wanted some in and out, bro. And then you went to Boiling Crab. And then I went to Boiling Crab. <laughs> so like the Mexican food. Uh, but I'm, no, no, no. Like, I just miss, like, American food. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I eat, like and, and their food is great, too, yeah, you know? Yeah. But it's a lot of bread. It's a lot yeah. of, like, you know, you just get spoiled over yeah. here. You know, yeah. us. There's somebody that lives in Europe might say it's different, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. But just me in general, I'm just speaking for myself. Mm -hmm. I miss my food. Yeah. I miss in and out. I miss unos taquitos, un burrito, yeah. something with spice. Maybe all together. Hella chile out there. Like in a bottle gone. We could like wrap it up and then wrap eat it all up. That yeah, yeah. Thing. Two tortillas. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I think the that's restaurant a, store. You're the restaurant. You order the escargots. You were talking oh about. Oh my god! Yes. Dang! Same. I keep getting. Thank oh, you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. You're uh, like I'm way here, more. I'm I think you listen better when you don't have headphones on. I'm sorry. What? Exactly. <laughs> um, so we all sit down. He brings us our drinks. He brings us our apps, and that's it. And then he asks us. Um, all right, what do you guys want to eat? And we're like, oh, no, 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 like, we're, like, we're so sorry. Like, we just came here for drinks. He got so upset. Why did you make me set up the table? Why did you make me um, put all the napkins and the forks? Like, you should have told me before, blah, blah, blah. He got really upset that he did the... Mm, he makes a good point. The customer is always right. <laughs> you, yeah, no, no. you spoiled the yeah. mannequins. It's so spoiled. It's so spoiled. It's just little things like that that like yeah. you don't cast that like you know like it would like nobody would ever tell you that. You no, know? of course not. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. It's, like it's super rude. It's, yeah, it's but very there, rude. There, it's the other way around. It's like yo, you well, couldn't let me know. I'm like, not gonna speak about him, and I, I'm not gonna say everyone's like that. But yeah. I'm just saying like we Culture ran into, different. Yeah, we ran into a lot of situations like that. We're like, whoa. And then what, what happened? Mean? Did you? And then we got mad. We're like, don't talk to us like that. Like he was very rude. There was more stuff that I'm not gonna say, but it was wow. like very rude. Yeah. And wow. uh, ever since, like you know, like little things like that, like you know, like trying to get into a restaurant, the bouncer, the way that they're talking to you, it's just like they basically want to spit in your face. Did you guys stay? Not like everybody. That? Like yeah. once again, back at home, I'm not pooping on the, the French. Yeah, I'm not pooping on French people. Yeah, but maybe they might be pooping on us. I think they are. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. shitting on the Americans. But no, oh, I, I had a great time in Paris. Did you guys stayed at that restaurant after that guy like cursed you guys, or did you guys end up? No, no, no. We drank our drinks. We paid. We, we got out of there. Damn. Mm -hmm. Spoiler. But Americans. it's like a thing. It's like a thing. I don't want to yeah, say yeah, it's yeah. like a thing. Yeah. But it's a thing that yeah. French people they don't really fuck with Americans. Do you think that? And you, I don't know why. You went into France knowing that people have talked about France in that manner, right? That like the French are like rude yeah. to Americans and stuff like that. Do you think maybe that's like that heightened? your awareness of how rude they were being like maybe if you had never heard that like do you think maybe you would have been as critical as you guys as you as you currently are and judging the french harshly yeah but then like this past one like everybody was great yeah uh karen went recently when i was in colombia or like right after because you know what, and the then reason she, she was like oh my god i had the best time and then like this time too like i had the best time going to paris i met yeah. so many amazing people you know yeah. like servers or bartenders right. or just that people on the street too, right? that they live there you know what i mean yeah and like when you go to like France or like especially like Paris, like the huge city, um, it's very diverse. It's not just like you're not just talking to someone who's French. Right. I met Colombians. I met people from Morocco. I met people like they're all over the world. And that's the beautiful thing about traveling is that like you start to realize like just be like just because we're in L.A. That doesn't mean everyone's white. Right. Because we're in the United States. Right. No. Majority. If you've never been here. We're the minority. Well, I think that I think here in Los Angeles or Southern California or even like North, Northern California. Yeah, I don't I know. It feels like it. I, it you know, it's I need very to look at the Latino stats power to, really, to really verify. It's but I Latino feel you. power. That's true. That's um, true. So, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Like you go everywhere and you're like, wow, it's not really like what I thought. You know, there yeah. are some places like that. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But for the most part, it's like beautiful to see other people from different. Like, why are you here? Oh, I'm here to study. Or, and you know, I'm like, or you meet some guy, you know, he was like 60 year old dude. And he's just like. He, he works on a boat all day and he goes, yeah. and I, I like to be interested. I ask like, why are you here? Like, yeah. well, like how did you make here? He's like, oh, I'm not French. I'm just, you know, say like, for example, I'm Colombian, but like, I just came here for work one day and I never came, you know, I never left. Yeah. So yeah. it's like stuff like that. And there's stories like that here as well. Bro, that's the interesting thing about Europe uh, is that there's so many countries so close together. So you're getting different cultures, so different close. races, different uh, everything, everything's so like foods, everything's just so vastly different. It, it could be like 20 minutes away. You know what I mean? Like you could be on the borderline yeah. of Spain, like touching another country. Yeah. Would it be Italy? Yeah. Italy to Spain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you that's could crazy. Take a, you know, I don't know how long the train ride is, but like yeah. it, in an hour right you're there. in Italy. That's crazy. I think that's the coolest thing because it's in the U.S. The we thing. have Mexico and Canada. That's it. Yeah. And who wants to go to Canada? And they're not close. Uh, well, we think they're close because we're in Southern California. Right, right, right. But someone who's in Denver, someone who's in Minnesota, yeah, yeah. you know, they might not think that. Yeah, it's yeah, like, oh, yeah, dude, you yeah. know, Canada's way over there. And then, you know, we got to travel far to Mexico. Yeah. Even someone in New York, Canada, and then Mexico's far to them. Right. Wait, what? New York? Mexico's far to them? Mexico's super far mm, to them. Yeah, it I is. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. five, six hour flight. Yeah. Yeah. 
No. Yeah, just like the, the closest the part closest of Mexico. part of Mexico. That's crazy. Going back to the topic about like French people being rude, I wanted to, I'm just kind of curious. I just want to play mm -hmm. devil's advocate because I have gone to France before too and I have experienced rude uh, people there, right? Um, but I started thinking, that's when I kind of like thought, I was like, am I thinking that they're rude? And I'm like, oh, I'm like super hyper aware of it because that's all I've heard. Yeah. The French are rude, the French are rude, right? Because it could be the other way around, right? Like a lot of people say that LA is fake. Yeah, Everybody yeah. in LA is fake. Yeah, yeah. There are fake people in yeah, LA, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not all of LA is fake. No, you know no, what I mean? no, yeah. So, but if you come, I think, I, yeah. if I've had people who come from like other states and stuff like that, and they're like, they're just expecting everybody to be fake and rude because that's the stigma that they heard about LA. And then they're like, but dude, you're not like that. You know what I mean? They're like, they're talking about me. They're like, you're so like awesome. Yeah. You know, like they're talking about me, it's the same right? Thing. Yeah. So it's like, it's different. I think that if you travel, I just think you should just be open minded. I think so too. Right? And that's my Even message. Even if you come into LA. That's my yeah. message here. Yeah. Take it as it is. Take it as it is. Yeah. Everybody has their different experience. Yeah. Yeah. Don't um, come in with like expectations or yeah. maybe not. That's not the right word. Um, I don't know, like ideas or stigmas that you're thinking, like just take it yeah. as it comes. But it sucks because like, I was like, you're cool. Yeah. Thank you. I'm cool. You're right. But we have to blame our fellow Americans for giving us this stigma that we're rude. You know, it's like, it's our fault yeah. as a society. It's our fault. It's the French people's fault that people think that they're dicks. Yeah. It, but you know, it's not an individual. It's just, you know, if you put all these French people in, in a pool, you know, you're going to see a lot of red because those are the dicks <laughs> and it's their fault. And yeah. same over here, yeah, like all sure. the fake people in LA, yeah. you know, you yeah. can see them. It's a lot of them mm -hmm. and they're making up, you know, what, you know, what people think we are. Do you feel like in LA city, there are more people that are from California or there are more people that are from out of state? No, here. Oh, uh, interesting. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard the opposite. Like I've talked to a lot of people when I go out, like uh, like talking with people, and a lot, most people that I talk to, like in like Hollywood area, they're like, "We're from out of state, mm. whatever, right?" And then to me, like being born and raised in LA, I was like, I don't really know a lot of people from out of state. But yeah. like, I, I don't know. It's just all perspective at the end yeah. of the day. You know, there's what I mean? definitely a lot of people that aren't from here because yeah, yeah. it's definitely uh, Los Angeles or Southern pot. California is a melting pot of success as well. Yeah, like you come over here, yeah, it's more expensive, but it's it, it, it's it's you'll find something faster than what you're looking for some some else somewhere else so Explain. so in new york and also in, in you know maybe in miami or or chicago or, or, or those huge cities in texas you know yeah. there's more opportunity i think so oh i agree with that yeah sure. i have cousins that live out of state like oh i want to go to la you yeah because i want to yeah. like you know do this or do that and same with like say you want to be on social media and you want to be like this influencer or this creator you move to LA because you start networking a lot better. Yes, this is very true. This I've met people true. that uh, they're coming up. They're say from, I don't know, Connecticut. Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut, and I moved down to LA because these are where all the events are at. Right. Every time I get invited, um, they're always in LA. They're always in LA. So I got to be in LA. No, let's use my good friend Alex from El Paso. Mm -hmm. Say he does like a brand with Nike. Are they gonna throw the event in El Paso? Maybe. But for the most part, they're throwing it in LA. Most likely. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, and he comes over here a lot because there's events. Right, right, right. Right? Right. You just had an event for Salud. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you do it where he lives? Because uh, LA is where it's at, my boy. It might not be where it's at, it's just where everyone's at. <laughs> uh, therefore, Because you would do it over at. there. You yeah. would do it in El Paso, or you would do it in nah, somewhere in Texas. <laughs> no, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Right? Yes. But like, you would do it over here because yeah. here, A, everyone's here. Yeah. And all the big, you know, the big market is here. Yes, true. Also, I mean, I get what you're saying, but also LA, California is very unique in its... Uh, geography yes right yes. like bro we're like we got beach we got mountain we got deserts. desert the, do, you spoke fake about people this, you so you spoke we got fake people <laughs> we got it all you spoke about the salud event right and it was in malibu yeah overlooking the ocean yes it was a, a certain vibe that we were that. creating you can't find that anywhere yeah. else yeah. and el paso is a perfect example like yeah. you're not gonna get that sure i can throw a big event over there but to create the the vibe the scenery the all of that it cannot be done yeah only we, la can offer that hence why it's so expensive here yeah, it's part of it. Yeah. I think it's the majority of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's because everything is here. Everything yeah. is, you know, at your hands. Oh my yeah. God, there's so much traffic. But yeah, it's because everybody wants to live here. There's that thing in LA where people like they do where it's like you can go to they surf and then they go to the mountains to snowboard oh, yeah. and then they I go forgot to the, what that's called. Yeah, but there's like a name for that. Yeah, it's like yeah. the California five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's where you, like that. you go yeah. to like to the snow yeah. and then you go to the ocean yeah. and then you go to the desert. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. exactly what you just said right now. Exactly what I just said. Yep. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> Europe was cool, man. Oh, by the way, uh, welcome to episode one oh three. Wow, have we not? It's 102. Um, 
102 or 103? 102, because I did 101. 102. I don't even know, bro, if I'm being honest. It's with one you. of those guys. No, you. You yes, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You're right. Um, I want to say it's 103. Can I? I want to say it's 102. How much you want to bet? Let's bet something before a you shot. check. All right, bet. One shot. <laughs> yeah. Let's go on YouTube. Why don't we? Oh, you know what I did? So last week episode, the boy Josh Slava slash AI edited the podcast. I don't know if you noticed it. 102. You're right. Thank you. You owe me a shot. Um. I forgot to in the because I also had to do man, you made me do everything, bro. It's the last time you go on vacation. I need a By raise. By the way, I just got back and on I need, Thursday. I, don't ignore me. I'm asking for a raise. I, I just got I just gotta tell him like how everything went before you tell your story. What do you mean? So like we filmed. I left the next day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or the day before. You're giving a background. Yeah, back, I'm giving him back backstory. I've been gone for two weeks. Yeah. This is Sunday. Longest two weeks of my life, yeah. by the way. Hashtag Mondays don't suck. Don't this is going to be up again. the next day. This is up right now, today. This is basically speak. live. This is live. Um, this is basically live. <laughs> you're not going to take a shot with me? I'll do a baby shot because you're back. You better. <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? I'm happy to see you, bro. Damn. I was actually nervous. Josh, I Josh, Josh like texted me. He goes, damn, bro. <laughs> just gone for too long, bro. Honestly, walking up the stairs to the studio, I was like, I'm a little nervous. Like, Sur I feel like I haven't seen this man. It was like a surreal moment, huh? Yeah, bro. I was like, we like locked eyes for the first time. Hey, we in the three digits. Uh -uh. 102? Yeah. You already know. 102, baby. you're right. Yeah. Um, let me so, get my yes, enigma. We had to do two episodes in one week because you were leaving. We had to have the next one ready to go because you were going to be out of town. We weren't going to be able to film that week leading up to the episode. Which I had one ready, ready to go that Monday when right. I, because I left on Monday or Sunday? Sunday, right? I think so. Yeah. So I left Sunday and I already had one ready to go on Monday. Right. So that gave Which us was that whole 100. week. Yeah. That gave, uh huh. Uh huh. So that gave us that whole week. But we already filmed the 101, but he never edited yet. So he still had that whole week to edit it, and then now you can continue your story. Why are you got to throw me under the bus like that? I see what you were doing. Basically, what Seth was trying to say is I waited last minute to edit the podcast. You son of a bitch. You think you know somebody. That's not. I you think you know somebody. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was in charge of editing the podcast this week. There, uh, if you guys um, don't know. We talked know, about it, too. Sebas, we talked about yeah, it a Sebas little bit. Yeah, normally is the one who edits the podcast. And he, you do it OD, traditional style. Like, you're literally modeling four, cam four cameras. You're cutting back and forth. Super, like... OG Sexy. television fucking prim, primo type Something shit. Something you put on your resume. Right. Yeah. I found out about this whole AI editing yeah. thing that you can do where basically you import all your footage, you tell it where, what's what, and then you click a button and then it does it for you. And it was magical. So this whole episode 102 was edited via AI. Yeah. AI. And I think 102, Which I want to show you. for? Artil and I got it done. Not <laughs> malfunction, bro. I'm AI. <laughs> I'm AI, too. <laughs> Artificial intelligence. Yes, yes. Basically, we live in a world now where this is a somebody simulation. is doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, you didn't notice a difference. I thought it was great. Thank I you. was a little skeptical. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was great. You're skeptical now. There's some things that, um. No, it was great, honestly. I was about to say. I was like, what are you about to say right I now? Didn't th we didn't throw in my loot. Huh? My LUT. No, no LUT. Yeah, no yeah, LUT. yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, yeah. a LUT is like, uh, what, like a filter? Yeah, yeah, like a yeah. filter. So it's exactly what You it guys is. don't know this, but on every single episode, I throw in a LUT. Yeah. L-O-U-T. Right. To make it a LUT better. You stole my <laughs> fucking joke. I cannot believe you just did that right now. I cannot believe you just did that right now, Sebas. I literally was you setting you it up. You know somebody. I, I, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I cannot believe you stole my joke, dude. And I, I was about to say it, too. <laughs> Rewind it and no, say it. No, forget you, bro. Bro, just say <laughs> it. You, you think you know somebody. <laughs> I'm shocked right <laughs> now. Dude, I feel the audacity that you stole my joke. And I thought, bro, I thought we were going to be in sync. I was like, we just went over this. We had this joke. I, I'm a, he's going to alley me right now. I'm going to do the leg, slam dunk this I thought you were going to forget. You think you know somebody. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, you, I lost my train of thought. You, we didn't add a lot because I didn't. I don't oh, have yeah, yeah, access yeah. to a lot. Yeah, and just I have it. Just to get even more deeper into the weeds of this. Yeah, get deeper. Deeper into the weeds. Sevas edits on Final Cut. I edit on a program called Premiere Pro, yeah. Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so the the access to the LUTs that he has 
I like I don't know if we can essentially use them for know. Premiere Pro. I don't know. I'm sure you can. Maybe you can. It's just probably like a different download. Yeah, but file. I wouldn't know how to like import them because I don't use Premiere. Right. Yeah. Adobe Premiere Pro. You're still on Final Cut. I feel about that. By the don't way. Don't discredit Final Cut. I feel about that. By the way. Final Cut's amazing. Uh huh. Go you, on. You Go stole on. my joke, dude. That's, I can't Say get over this. That. Say I can't it. get over. So yeah. So there's these things called LUTs, and do you know why they call them LUTs? Why? Because it makes the video look a lot better. <laughs> It's not the same, dude. Just forget it. Just move on. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that, dude. Say your story. What you story? Five, that was it. Five minutes. That was it. That was it. That was the story. That was the AI story. Okay, look. No, was... because you were going to say about the whole AI yeah, thing. Yeah, all right. So, uh, dude, okay. You waited last minute. I waited last minute. I literally waited till Sunday because I, I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos. I have know a couple friends. And I had a podcast. I thought it was going to be quick. I thought it was going to be done, which it is, right? Yeah. But... There's still a learning curve to it, right? So I was like, you know what? It's fine. How 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 archy yeah. can this learning curve be, right? You're so confident in who you are, bro. I was fucking reeking confidence, yeah. bro. Reeking. I'm techie, techie McGee. Yeah, yeah. Bro, it took me for. I literally took. I started editing at 9:30 a.m. the podcast. I didn't finish. I uploaded the podcast to YouTube at probably like 11:30. 12 here in LA and the podcast went live at 7 a.m. I was so stressed out and I was trying to play it cool because I wanted you to have fun the whole time I kept telling you I was like don't worry fool just have fun meanwhile I'm stressing out of my mind to get this fucking podcast up but now that I figured out now that I have my, I'm over the learning curve when it comes to the AI we gonna crush it my boy all right don't you worry about it. don't you sit back relax and let AI do its thing and, and then my thing too is like um I was 10 hours ahead of you yeah so I reminded you kind of like 10 hours like, I didn't remind you, but, like, I kind of mentioned it. Like, hey, like, how's the the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And bro, you reminded me, like, every other day from Monday. <laughs> Literally, you're like, where's the potty? And I was like, I was just, like, poking the stick at yeah, you. Yeah, bro. And I was like, potty's in my pants. You know what I mean? So, I was like, dude, I don't know, bro. But, yeah, it, it went up and and, yes. and uh, you figured it out. Figured it out. Uh, it I, I think you're still going to get better at it. Yes, yes. But, by the way, I have to give a huge shout out to Saul from IE and Friends because yes. I literally, he was at Disneyland. And he is the one who kind of told me about the whole uh, editing via AI, like doing the plug-in, all this stuff, right? And uh, one of my friends, he was at Disney. He knows how to do this AI stuff. All his podcasts that he's been uploading have been all via AI. So I was like, he's the guy. If I get stuck, no big deal. That morning I wake up, I'm trying to figure it out on my own. I'm checking Instagram because I'm just trying to get my mind off. Like, you know when like you're just so frustrated about something, you just kind of need to step away for a minute. So I was going on Instagram and then I was like, I saw Saul was at Disneyland. And I was like, fuck, bro, I'm not gonna like call him while he's at Disneyland. But dude, I tried to figure it out for like three, four hours, could not get it. F so frustrated. So I finally call him up and I was like, yo, dude, this is what's going on. I, at that point, dude, I knew the whole AI system like the back of my hand. Like, I was like, this is what I've done. This is what I've inputted all this. I've set this code up, blah, blah. He's like, oh yeah, you're good. And then he gave me the one little thing that I was missing to make it work. And then, it, and then it worked out. So shout out to him. Because if it wasn't for him, bro, we wouldn't have 102. <laughs> we would not have 102. 101. Yeah. And 102. Then, but then when you sent it to me, like I said, it was, it was 10 hours before. So yeah. like for me, it seemed like, um, for me, it seemed like, oh, dang, he just did it. Because I was almost on Monday. Oh, gotcha. You're yeah. like, damn right on the nick of time. Yeah. But no, I, I, I everybody down below, if you saw uh, the recent episode, let us know. Like, did you like that? Yeah. And if you look at 100 and then 101, can you tell the color difference from the Oh, the LUT? color difference you can, bro. You know what's funny? When you told me you're like, oh, I want to add the LUT to it. I was like, bro, there's no difference. They look yeah. identical. And then I, I went back to look at the video. They're like vastly what you, different. What do you like better? The LUT. Yeah. It looks a lot better. It gives it a more, I don't know, like more cinematic look. Yeah, dreamy. Yeah, but yeah. still crispy. Super crisp. And the last one was like real life raw. Like, yeah, Which raw, is cool raw. too. I didn't mind it either. Yeah. I don't think anybody else minds it. I, Dude, I was so f like frustrated with that podcast in the sense that like I watched it so many times. I watched it four times. Okay, that's four hours of my time. You know how valuable my time is. You know how expensive my time is. I watched it four times. Okay, I haven't even read the comments. I don't know how many views it has. I don't know how many likes it has. I'm over it. I'm over you. I'm over it. I'm over LP. Yeah, but you're gonna get better at it. I'm gonna get better. But that's the thing, though. I don't want like I want you to relax. I'm good. I'm calm. I might even like download Premiere myself, and then we can both do it. Whoever's available. Who You're not gonna G? do that, bro. Anyways, G Willikers, it's good to be back. Josh Leva, <laughs> we'll take a shot. Welcome back. Let's go on a break. Yes, sir. And uh, it's good seeing you guys. Have hashtag Mondays don't suck. Not Welcome no more. To <laughs> wow. Well, that's words from a decent man. Late. <laughs> Go 
goes around. Just try not to move my tripod. Because then we're fucked. Royally. Damn, my hair's getting long, YP. Bro, we just bought a brand new 50 pack of Coke Z and we ran through that hoe. You ran through it. I ran through that hoe. I got my Enigma G. Bro, stop calling me that, bro. I'm not calling you anything. Bro, you come, you've been way too aggressive, my G. Way too Did aggressive. you feel that shot or not? Nah? No, I'm good. Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> How's it feel? I with? haven't been drinking. Should we do no headphones? It's not cool. <laughs> but let's do it because it'll make me feel better. I feel like I'm some I'm on someone else's podcast. Yeah, and um, am I good right here? We're good. Listen, bro. The headphone being without the headphones is a little odd. I felt when you were talking on the first half, I didn't feel as connected to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I felt actually, connected to you right now. No. Well, you do now. You well, I don't know. It's kind of like we are connected, like when there's no headphones, but when someone has it and so mm -hmm. the other person doesn't, like mm -hmm. it's weird. But even yeah. right now, it's like I feel like it, we're not recording. And you know what? Also, too, I noticed that you haven't been as like touching with your mic, and your mic's kind of pointed that way. But if you had your headphones on, you would know that your mic should be pointed directly at your mouth because that's where the audio is captured the best. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did you miss me though, Loki? I did, bro. You were gone for way too long. I think this is the longest we've been apart since we started the podcast. And you know what sucked too? Is that I was 10 hours ahead of you. Mm -hmm. so, so like- So we weren't in sync. No, like yeah. I wasn't even texting nobody. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. texting nobody because I was like, no one's awake. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When I would wake up, people are about to go to sleep. You know what's crazy, bro? You don't look like hinchado. Were you drinking like that? Bro, a lot. Damn, because no Not a lot, like I'm not like- yeah, yeah, but you, you know, did. But like, I, you didn't I hold back. Yeah. I mean, every day you're drinking. Damn. April Spritz. Everybody? Everybody's on One thing about vibe? me is that when I'm on vacation, my drink of choice yeah. is an old-fashioned. Whoa. Which is bitter, sugar, soda water, and, like, whiskey. You know, sometimes you... you but, like, you, I'm chugging them, bro. Like, it's a thing. Like, me and my friends, we just chug them all day. Okay, you... And it's you, a lot of sugar. I'm going to insult you right now. Insult me. Okay, so sometimes when you talk, <laughs> you say something so, like... You, what I say you now? You sound so like pompous, bro. Like you sound like a fucking pompous asshole. I don't even know what pompous mean, but uh, like I, what's that's a just pompous the, asshole? That's, I just you like you like sometimes you'll say things. You're like you're like when I'm on vac when I'm on vacay, I like to drink an old fashioned. What did I say? That's what you said right now. You're like old fashioned. Like you turn into fucking Great Gatsby all of a sudden. Now dude. you're gonna have everybody on your side. <laughs> you're on some, Everyone's gonna think. Like, you know I why? I just got from Perry. Like bitch. Naturally, caigo gordo. <laughs> yeah, and I'm noticing it, dude. Because right now, like, do you have certain certain words? You just have to have a certain inflection, like old fashioned, dude. It's it's old fashioned. <laughs> First of all, I didn't say it like you that. You did. Rewind no, the I tape. Rewind the tape. No, I didn't say it like that. I did not say that. Hey, I didn't say that. You go old fashioned. I've been on vacation with you a good amount of times. I don't think I've ever seen you. You've old never gone on vacation with me. Bro, Where we, we went to Colombia. Oh, we you're went right. to Dominican Republic. They don't have old fashions there. Buckle. <laughs> they probably don't. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> so so Colombia was just aguardiente. Yeah, yeah. And then every once in a while we drink tequila, but yeah. it was literally chugging aguardiente, which I kind of miss. I love aguardiente. Dude, I think it's the best, bro. It's the best. Because if you guys don't know, back at home, aguardiente is what they drink out there in Colombia. Like, it's their it's their drink. True facts. And it kind of tastes like uh, hints of black licorice. You know how I would describe it? Yeah, black licorice. Oh, bro, I got the perfect description. And like minty. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, take a LaCroix man, minus the carbonation, add some black licorice with a sprinkle of tequila. Yeah. That's what that Just tastes like. Just like barely, barely tequila. Barely. Like almost nothing. Almost nothing. And there's one, and there's that one sin azúcar, the one that has a blue cap. That's what we do. That's what. <laughs> sorry, girls. That's what we do. And um, it's great. And not only that, why we drink it, why we drink that other than tequila, is because without the end, there's there's not that much alcohol in it. There's yeah. alcohol, and you're gonna get faded. But it takes longer though. But the longevity of your fade yeah. Yeah. is supreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the word for? There's like a word that people use when they. <laughs> there you go again with the, your fucking inflections. Um, <laughs> well, the, the, the shell life. The shell life. Is that right? Shelf. Shelf life. Yeah. The shelf life, like it has longer shelf fade? life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fade has longer shelf life. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's exactly the way you put it. Right. Yeah. Are you fucking with me? I'm fucking with you. <laughs> no, like I'm fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. Oh, you. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. Fucking, fucking with. I fuck what you saying. I'm fucking with what you're saying. Yeah. Like I'll fuck with you, but I'm not fucking with you. Yes. Right. You're not right. Yeah. Like that. Like yeah. yeah I fuck with yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with you. Yeah. 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 But not like. Yeah, I'm fucking I'm fuck with you. Yeah. I'm not fucking yeah. with you. Yeah. 
Say, yeah, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, give me the two different variations of that. What? Give me the uh, yeah, I'm I'm riding with what you're saying to like no, I'm messing with you. Yeah. Because okay, so I'm messing with you. Okay, well, first of all, give it to me the same way, and I'm gonna but mean it in a one way, and I'm gonna determine which way you meant it, and then we'll do it in different manners. Okay, but you have to give me the sentence. Uh, I'll be like, oh, so like, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm fucking with you. Ooh, uh, that was you. You weren't. You're were just messing with me. Yeah. Okay. And then now I'm gonna fuck with you. Okay, cool. Hey, yo, so, like, but you get me, though? Shit, I'll fuck with you. See, no. We didn't do anything that I wanted to do, but that's the way. How <laughs> stupid are we? Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb, dude. Dumb, bro. Just idiots, dude. You know, you put together a meme together. It's a literally just me and you in a room. Views and butt Talking into microphones, bro. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> just as dumb as you look. Hey, you know what I noticed? Oh no, never mind. I thought um, that one had a wire of the headphones, and mine doesn't. But yeah, no, no, no. They both are wireless. I wish our headphones <laughs> were wireless, bro. I wish everything was wireless. Um, yeah. So what were, what were we talking? Yeah, the fuck with you. <laughs> no idea. And then right before. Oh that, yes, about the shelf life of like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your... So in Colombia, they they drink aguardiente. Amazing. I, I love aguardiente. Uh, they sell it here in the states too. Go, go look for but it's it. It's hard to find. Kinda, it's hard right? to find, especially because there's like there's so many types of aguardiente. There's a red one. There's a blue one. I think there's a green one. And then they sell it like in glass bottles, and then the big glass bottles, in and the they sell it in the and the and it looks like milk. Or like it's like a big carton. Oh yeah, yeah, like that yeah, one was yeah, cool. Yeah, we were fading yeah, on yeah, that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, great, great, great drink. Um, and then I, I haven't seen a lot of Colombians mix it. I don't know if they mix it. I, I think you do. Correct with me if I'm wrong. Mineral my, water, mineral water. On my parceros yeah. and my parceros out there, let me know. Mineral water. But we're just straight drinking it, and it's not that strong. Like it's good. Like it's like a little bit, but like not really. Not really, yeah. Um, and then in in Dominican Republic, um, their drink of choice, I think it's either like rum. We had a lot of tequila over there. Mm -hmm. uh, what did we drink? Uh, they have a. Uh, it was a lot of beer. A lot of beer we drank. Um, but they also, I mean, I think Dominicans drink like a variety of stuff. But I think it's rum. But what, what's that one? Remember, it's like a wine. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And it was like infusing like the cinnamon or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah, really, yeah. It's, it's, it's actually really strong. I it's, wasn't a big fan. It's like a jungle juice wine. Yeah, it's like a jungle juice wine. I wasn't the biggest fan either. Like, you're not fading on that, yeah. but like, you drink it every once in a yeah. while for a shot. Um, we have to know what it's called. It's called. Um, I, I couldn't. We tell gotta you, get back to it. I yeah. wanna say Mama Huevo, but it's not Mama Huevo. Yeah, yeah, definitely not that. It could be. It's though. something Mama, though. Mama Stu Huevos? <laughs> <laughs> mama, mama Guente. No. Dude, we have your phone right next to you with all the all the knowledge of the universe has to offer. You can just punch in your little your little stubby Famous fingers and you can figure out what drink. the answer is. You're, you're trying to figure it it's out. It's gonna be something that's already in my head. Mama Juana. Mama Juana, duh. of course, duh. So yeah. You see how they, much faster drink, that was? I don't wanna say they drink that a lot, but like that's their drink over there. Like it's mm -hmm. like you go over there and you're like, oh like I gotta try my Juana. Yeah. And supposedly it's good for you and supposedly it's good for you down there. Like your your wee -wee? your pee pee. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. It's like they say almost like, like a Viagra in yeah, a sense. Yeah, oh. yeah. The more you know. Uh, did they say that over there? Yeah. Oh wow. I Remember mean, the security guard that yeah. they had? Yeah, he's like, yeah, it's good. No wonder me. I had a raging boner the entire time. <laughs> it's too easy. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Don't ask me. Ask Alan Iverson. AI. Whole... <laughs> uh but yeah, so yeah, that, that's really it. Crazy. Um shot, you said you were gonna promise me a shot. One more, that's it, bro. Why you got something to do? Yeah, I got a competition next week, bro. I'm doing a fitness comp. Oh, here we go. Come on, boy. Dedicated. What's the movie you watch if you're trying to get like pumped up? Pumped up. I got two movies, and I'll give you. I'll, maybe I'll start with mine, so maybe it'll like start leaking some um, motivation or inspiration to you. Wolf of Wall Street. For whatever reason, that movie gets me psyched, bro. I want to take over the world. I want to go to Benihana's. Where's my bro? Can you take me to Benihana's one of these days? Love Benihana's. Love the I haven't fried been rice. in a minute. Hey, every time I go to Benihana's, I always do like double a minute fried, and a half double fried rice. Where'd my bro? Go? Where, where did your shot go? Where'd my shot go? Here, just give me one of those from the burro. Dude, where's my shot glass right here? From the burro. Um, and the other movie is uh, Remember the Titans. Because you're a football player. Because I was a football player, yes, sir. So you're serving third, the linebacker. Third string. All-American. Third string. First first string All-American. Uh, One movie that gets me pumped up, The Waterboy. And uh, Big Daddy. That's a good one. And we're losing weight. 
Are you trying to think of a line? So I did my hair today. I don't know if you noticed. And that's because I'm Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. Listen, dude. Have you ever been diagnosed with ADHD? No, because I don't really go to the doctor. I don't ask him that. Mm. Do you think you have ADHD? Mm? No. Uh, <laughs> I think there's people out there that really have ADHD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're not going to self-diagnose yourself. No, and I don't want to like, you know, it's like this. It's like the whole depression. Are you depressed or are you sad? Like, no, I'm not. But like, maybe I can feel it, you know, like a little bit or I don't know. I feel stupid saying that. I don't think you should, by the way, bro. I, yeah. Yeah, I know, but I just always think about other people who really have it and that's really serious. Yeah, that but doesn't like, discredit how you feel. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I don't know. I think that... I think I have a little... Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, know. I think I do have Dude. a little bit, maybe. Do you have a hard time focusing? Hard. No way. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, I really tried in school and I just never really couldn't... Try. Okay, let me ask you something. Like, when you're editing, could you just edit nonstop? Like, if you're already, like, if you find the momentum and the groove of it, can you just go? Or do you always have to, like, stop and get distracted? You get distracted, like, all the time, all so, the time. So, Sebas has two answers for that. The fact that you just talked about yourself in third person is very annoying. But go ahead. <laughs> Sebastian has two answers for that. <laughs> Sebastian is about to talk. Um, I can't. <laughs> Sebastian has an answer for this. You pompous asshole. <laughs> um... When I'm very excited about something that's yeah. new to me, yeah, 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 I'm all day. But when you, I do something a lot, over and over again, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, all right, yeah, right, yeah. So, but I don't think that's a, a sign of I ADHD, think, though. No, no, no. But I think at the end of the day, um, I do get distracted a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Um, and like, I, I always think about like, dang, in school, like, I could just never focus, bro. Like, I could never just listen to the teacher. I'm always just like, my mind's always. You don't, you don't have to talk about it, or we can cut it out. Have you ever took an Adderall and like for focusing for like to actually? Do I was something? actually gonna talk about that. We'll, we'll put that in. Um, supposedly they say that if you have ADHD, you mm -hmm. don't feel Adderall, right? No, or you is, do. Or is that bullshit? No, that's bullshit. And maybe not in the sense that people who don't have ADHD. So feel what I'm it. saying is like. Cause I took an Adderall before, okay, and I did an Adderall, and I didn't really feel anything. But were you able to focus? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? What did you take it for? I didn't feel like 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 my friend took it. Yeah, and he has. Um, and he was like studying like crazy. What, what were you guys doing? Yeah. Give, give me the whole scenario. But then dude. I had another friend who like did it just like. He doesn't party. have ADHD, but like maybe just to like maybe he's cruel and he took an Adderall just to like kind of wake up, and yeah. he goes, "Oh, I feel so much better." I don't feel that. I don't feel the, oh, I feel so much better. I feel the same. And they say that one of my friends said, I don't know, everybody correct me if I'm wrong because that's why you're here watching because I need you to correct me. Yeah, please. They say that if you don't feel anything, that you probably do have a little bit of ADHD, supposedly. I don't know. I might look stupid in front of a lot of people. So people who that. do have ADHD and are prescribed Adderall, it's, they, it's they a, don't feel it? Well, yeah, they should. Well, uh, I think that they should feel right, it. Right, because they're being prescribed it. Like, that's yeah. the whole point of it. But I don't think the... I don't know. But maybe... I don't know. Is, like the, maybe, is, is the point to just level them out? Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll be open. I've taken Adderall before, and I do feel like a boost of like... I'm just... I don't know. I feel more present. I'm more like alive, right? Um, but I, I could I could maybe understand if my brain was always like working like crazy, and I couldn't just focus on here. I'm like talking to you. You know how people like... You're talking to them, and they're like, oh, what's this? And they're like all over the place. Maybe Adderall, they're not really feeling it like I do in that sense of like, whoa, I feel really good. They feel it more like they can just be here now. They can just yeah. have this conversation. Yeah. And they're not like feeling it, but they yeah. can just be a little bit more locked in. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. That's that just what Josh sense. thinks. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude. Everybody back at home, school us on Adderall. If you have somebody that you know that yeah, has, that I don't has know ADHD, like stuff like that. I don't know either. I'm just telling you like what I hear, bro. One, but yeah, I, I took an Adderall. I don't really do anything, dude. Listen, we we have done we're over a hundred episodes in, and we've had some incredible guests, yes. right? But I want to bring somebody in who is like so. And is this no more Adderall talk? But kind of on that, because okay. right now we were talking about how like we don't really know much about like Adderall. We're just kind of like going off of what the homies have told us. Hey, fool, what do you think about Adderall? Hey, I think if you have ADHD, you don't feel that shit, dog. But if you don't, you do. You do, you don't. None of our friends talk like that, but go on. Right. But we don't know the actual medical, like... Yeah, yeah, the science. Science behind it all, right? Yeah. But we should bring in somebody who's just fucking so smart, like an expert in this shit, dude. Not, yeah. not Adderall specifically, but in something. Tag them down below. Yeah, like I want to talk to somebody who's just like so so tapped into what they do like that i'm just like damn bro. you know 
like I, I like right now we'll be like oh we don't know and then like no actually yeah. the way Adderall works yeah. is that it connects with the the, yeah. hemis the northern people hemisphere like that I guess have like so many questions for right yeah. Who, what kind of person would you want to bring in like what topic in the world if we can bring in one expert of any topic in the world what topic would you want to be someone who was about to die I did not expect you to say that. I thought you were gonna say something about like space well, yeah, that too. But someone who like had like a crazy ass, like for example, Joe Rogan on the other day had somebody on his podcast, mm -hmm. um, and the guy brought a snake head, like a ana it looked like an anaconda or like yeah. a python. That shit was scary. She was like this big, and he was talking about like it, like, like how it almost killed them. Yeah, and then he killed it, and then he got chopped the head off, and like now he like you know that's so he almost, like Yeah, <laughs> it's so alpha. That's super. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So you would so like something like that, like something like, oh no, 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 there's like a lot of people, but like that would be cool. Because yeah. I just saw it, so like okay, it like well, triggered so my mind to when, like talk about that. When you were saying death, I thought maybe you were saying like somebody expert in death, like somebody who's maybe like died. That too. And like has you know how people have actually died and they've experienced experienced death and then they came back to life. Yeah. That too. That's wild. Imagine if you didn't know English and you just heard me say that too. That too. That's how it almost sounds like just sounds like yeah. that we too. think we sound normal but yeah. to other people we don't sound normal yeah to other people we don't sound normal imagine them hearing that that too yeah, yeah. anaconda that too that too anaconda that too <laughs> they're like what did you just say technically you didn't really say much you said an animal and then you said that too but what do you think they thought i said something crazy you thought they thought you just did like a devil spell they think you the devil same. By the way, I have to confess something. We walked into this room and Josh and myself, we asked each other what we were going to talk about. We had no idea. I did. We hit record. No, we hit record. <laughs> we hit record. And this is what you guys are getting. <laughs> it's a bit of a random episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's great. <laughs> it's great. This is what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. Hence the science behind you. You know what's interesting? This yeah, is probably the care. most like us hanging out, like experience you know they what can is? get. Yeah. Like, this is like yeah. how it is. You know what it is? You haven't seen me in a while. I don't know why I looked back at the sign. I, you haven't seen me in a while. Right. So this is literally us organically catching Whole Foods up. hanging out, catching up. Did you say Whole Foods? Yeah, because Whole Foods has organic shit. Segun. Yeah, yeah. Segun. Yeah, yeah. Segun. You, you believe, you're a believer in that? <laughs> Whole Foods me la pela. No, okay. So what are you? No, you're, okay. You're big... Imagine if someone didn't know English and they heard you saying, no, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. They're like, and they made it not like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. They literally heard, nah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So if we had somebody who didn't speak English right here and they were like, what does that mean? Yeah, okay. How, what would you, how would you even explain that to them? Yeah, it'll be kind of like, it's like, it's like saying like, like, okay, but like you kind of believe him and you're like using a hyperbole and you're like, yeah, okay. Like you, like the person that you're saying that to, he's, ex he or she is exaggerating that sentence or phrase. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's because like explaining language sometimes is kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah, but that was actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with us. But yeah, it's because like uh, travel on. <laughs> sometimes with you, bro. Pump, pump what? Pompous? <laughs> you pompous asshole. You pompous asshole. I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what pompous means, but I just know you're a pompous asshole. That's all I need to know. You know what I mean? Hey, I got to show you something. And then you tell me what you think about it, okay? Okay. Okay. You know, I'm kind of curious if, um, you know, it'd be really cool if we brought in a psychologist to do a hyper analysis on our behavior and to maybe kind of break down how they view us. And like, if we potentially have ADHD, if we're like, you know, still healing from trauma, like be like, Sebas, I feel like you, you know, you, Josh is right. You're a pompous asshole, you know, like maybe those, they'll confirm that with you. The psychologist would? The psychologist would. Yeah. I'll kick him or her out. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect me in front of you would, my people. You would let a, you would kick out a doctor who's giving you an actual I don't analysis. care if they're a doctor. You know how many doctors I know that I've seen do drugs? How many? And party harder than me? How many doctors do you know? A lot. And I'm trying to put them under the bus. Name them. I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> fucking around. I love doctors. Um, but I would not kick a doctor out. I no. respect doctors. <laughs> Did those two shots just hit me? Put your fade right now, bro. Let me show you something. You ready? All right. I saw this. I don't feel like it's Mexico. I just feel like it's Mexico City. I saw this. <laughs> I saw okay, this. Hold on, okay, Can you give them a little breakdown on what you just showed me right now? I'm trying to find the actual video. 
bien delicado y pues <risa> casi nomás como como chicken, chicken, ajá, unas como alas. De, ¿Alas? Que no te, también que no tengan chile, no me gusta nada de eso. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta show the next one. There's like too many. How news. much? Okay, just to like preface this, how much are we gonna rip into these? Hold on. I, right okay, okay I'll, I'll get into that right now. Hold on. I'm not finding the right one. Did you have them say it? I think what? everybody back at home already knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, okay, but, but you just can you just give a brief description of what is going on right now? Yeah, so, okay, before we get into this, I'm not trying to be like this guy that, like, hates on them. Like, pobrecitos. I, I feel that like they're getting a lot of hate and pobrecitos, right? <clears throat> but what they said is just so ridiculous, and I'm only going to blame just their naiveness. And I, I don't want to discredit their talent either. I don't want to do that. I don't think it has anything to do with their talent. Sure, but I just want to put that out there. Okay. You know, I got to like say those things first because then I don't want to look like a dick when I talk about them. Too and late. If Yaritza is watching this, I, I think you're I think you're amazing. But yeah. what you did maybe is a mistake and you're going to grow from it. And the sense, yeah, like I think they're all brothers and sisters, right? Potentially, I think, yeah. I don't or know. I don't, I don't know too much family, about yeah. them. I don't know too much about them. But I know that they have this one song that's really good. And a lot of people fuck with them, and you know I applaud. Them dude, when it for comes that. to music, dude, this is this is the thing we have to really keep in mind. We're separating that. We're not talking about their talent. We're not talking about their skill set. Right. We're not talking about the music, right. any of that. We're talking about them yes. and the comments that they made. Yes, and their openness to. Oh man. I, yes, I understand. I guess a bash yes. like Mexican culture and Mexico as a whole. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The only thing I'm trying to say is that they still no matter what represent and maybe people a lot of people don't like them anymore and that's totally fine but they still represented or represent mexican culture so i applaud them so thank you for that does that make any sense okay no, it does i see what you're saying but after what they did and yes like, yes so, yes. so, so that's you, what we're gonna could get you into. still stand by what you just said right now i don't know i'm just such a nice guy um no, I think what they said is ridiculous. That is, that's not them standing by the culture then, bro. Sorry, yes, that's not that yes, them doing yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. them you, just... I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. But I'm just trying to like make it seem like I'm, you know, I'm on You're their side. You're trying to see both sides, which I get. And I'm on yes. my own side. So... Because they were just... Why do I burp like Homer? Anyways, but yeah. Yeah. So this happened, and I'm sorry we're late. It's been a thing already for weeks. But when you I went to... Europe. I was I was in Paris, and then that happened. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I can't go to Europe now. <laughs> we get it, dude. I went somewhere. I'm gonna start saying that. I went somewhere. <laughs> all right, cool. Sorry, dude. I went with my wife and my friends. Is that okay? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Um, <laughs> so I think the band is called Yaritza y su, Asen y yeah. y su Esencia. Um, great people, uh, great, talented people. But music aside, they basically had an interview in Mexico and they basically said, like, how do you like Mexico, right? Um, Tell me along those lines. Along those lines, I didn't really, I'm not like, this is exactly, maybe I should have, you know, put everything into detail in a piece of paper, but I didn't. So I'm talking right now. So basically they asked her like how she likes Mexico and blah, blah, blah. She's like, yeah, everything's cool. Like the city of Mexico, blah, blah, But she can't stand the sirens in the morning and the loud noises, blah, 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 and this and that. And then one of the other band members talked about the food, like him not being a fan of the food. He doesn't really mess with the spicy food over there. He said that he doesn't really like the food. Uh, they're from Washington State. I feel like I need to show that video. You guys saw the first one. Yeah. And I need to show the one with uh, Yaritza because there's one member that said... Plain wings. He only likes plain wings. My dude, my dude only eats chicken, chicken wings to be exact. Well, the thing is, is that they're repping Mexico so hard, bro. That's right? the whole and thing. The whole culture is where they're they're behind them, and the fact that you say that you're basically like going against the grain, and it's just not cool to say that. But I mean, if he likes chicken with nada on it, then that's fine. So that, be it. Yeah. But it kind of said in a way when it's like, and uh, okay, I'm gonna be the black sheep right now, and I'm gonna say it, and I don't care if people look like this or not, but he looks really, really Mexican. Yeah, of course, because they are. So the they fact that do. he said that it just makes them look bad, right? And also, bro, he, their whole career is based off them singing. Yes, Mexican culture and the culture, and you know. Yeah, they're taking that in. So they're, if they're, even if their argument is like, yeah, look, we 
only seeing in Spanish. We're not trying to represent the culture. It's like, yeah, but that you cannot disrespect what your art came from, what the thing that you do is came from, that, that culture behind all of that. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like me, bro. Like I'm first generation Mexican. I wasn't born in Mexico. I, I own a brand called Salud, which is heavily inspired by the Mexican culture. Imagine me saying that. Yeah. Bro, it's like crazy. It's, it's fake. Like, it's so fake, bro. It's so fake. But but even also, dude, there's, I can go into this. There's so many layers to this. Even just like on a surface level, like where the fuck was their PR team? To be like, hey, listen, you have your opinion. That's fine. Shut your mouth about it. Because your whole, the whole thing that you guys have built is based around the Latino culture. You can't just go around talking about it and bashing it. You got to show respect to it. You know, it's like rappers. You, there was like this little, uh, this little, inter, uh, this interview with this rapper called um, Lil Xan. Uh -huh. Right, and I don't, I don't know if it was him. It was one of those rappers, those SoundCloud rappers, and they were asking him about like Tupac, and he was like, "Tupac sucks. He's whack. He's boring." Yeah. And his whole career is based off of hip hop and all that stuff. Like, bro, you can't just discredit the OGs. You can't like just like bash like with the foundation of how this whole thing was built. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like you you're missing it. You're yeah. missing it. Yeah, yeah. hundred percent. To me, dude, is honestly, it's just it's just it's just, it's just sad. It just sucks. It's to sad. See that. It's just sad. That's it's the best sad. way to put it. And they just look so childish and naive and ridiculous saying that. You almost feel a little fool too. She said, she said, um, no me gustan los ruidos and the sirens in the morning and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, bro, if you, like that's part of the culture. Like that's why you, you go to Mexico and you hear that and that's so different to you and you respect Mexico so much and you respect like all these things and, 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 and the, the experience that you're having, you don't complain about it. Obviously, nobody likes noises in the morning. But it's like just the fact that you say that and you say little things like that, it's basically like you're, you're just saying like Mexico's whack. Yeah. And it's not. At all. So like, let's watch this video real quick. I'm not saying I hate Mexico, but I just don't like Mexico. ¿Cómo nos trata la Ciudad de México? Pues sí me gusta, me gusta como... Sí me gusta, pero no me gusta cuando me levanto, como me estoy durmiendo, porque se escuchan como los carros y las sirenas de los policías y todo, pero... Wow. <laughs> just like you. Fuck, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ever come at me like that, G. Ever. All right, we're going to go on a quick break real All quick. Right. And then right after that, we'll just uh, talk about this. Because I think people need to uh, hear our, um, what we're going to say about wow. this. Wow, that was beautiful, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm faded, B. Late. <laughs> Well, there's all fucking earwax on my shit. Wakala. It, it's it's. I'm not gonna lie. I uh. And I, we're back. I think that they got a lot of like hate from it. Yeah. And I don't think that hate is the right thing that they should be receiving. You know what I mean? Like I think it's just like, not to get all like fucking, you know. But like I think they should be like kind of like educated on this. Yeah. And, but like, it's not gonna happen. I know. I know. I know. Um. Just the fact that like she looked at the bolsita con la soda, oh, and like bro, like I go to Mexico because I want to drink. Fucking chocomil off of bolsita, you know, that's un jugo, best, una soda, una coca, whatever, you know. Rosa, fuck yeah, you, whatever. <laughs> like that's so cool. Yeah. And she's like looking at it like, like bro, don't do that. Don't do that. Like don't do that, bro. Ever. People love you already. Don't do that. Yeah. The fact that they posted and they said, "Oh, should we do that? Should we post that?" Yeah, like this. Is, yeah, it's a good idea. Because right? they had to rewatch it, and then they're like, "Yeah, this that's is hilarious. Great. That's so funny." Yeah. No. And then the guy that goes like, yeah, you know, mas como chicken. <laughs> Which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with there's that. There's nothing wrong. I think out of everything that was said, that was probably like the, the least. Like, all right, whatever, fool. Like, you're weak. You're weak yeah, right? like, I'll never go out to dinner with <laughs> yeah, you. ever. Like, I'll never go out to dinner yeah, with you. Yeah, ever. Like, I'll never go I'll, out. Like, I, like ever. if I take you somewhere, it's like you're looking at the kids' menu, my you're, you're not going to Joey's with us. But then the other guy says, like, th that's the thing. Like, it's fine if he likes food from Washington better. But there's a... Is it? It's not. It's not but it's, 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 it's like, there's a, there's, a, there's a right time to say things and there's a, you know, a wrong time to say things. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think that, like you said, like, you're being Mexican and the, and the culture and embracing that, you're in, that and, and you're, you're embracing and you're, the Mexican culture. Art. 
and then you're basically just shitting on it and you know it's just it's just not okay it's sad bro it's, it's sad. sad it's really sad yeah but yeah i saw that and i was like oh my god i can't believe they said that yeah i can't believe they said that in an interview and you're right where was Who's there the pr team dude was like public what that that interview could have slipped up one time one yeah. interview like that and the pr should have been all over that like, hey we're not using any of that sorry about it let's I do it talk to my team yeah we got to run that back and then be like yo you guys cannot say that you can't do that yeah these are the people that love you who have built your career and now you're just like shitting on their culture like they, people hold mexico dear to their heart you know they just did a song with banda ms yeah and they just posted it and then the I looked at the comments and oh man, the ripping is. I literally feel bad. It's bad, um, but yeah. I and here's the thing, bro. Now they can't even go back and to be like they can't even make it better because now they sound now they sound fake. But they, I think they could take ownership and realize what they did was wrong. They did, I think they I, did. Okay. They did, yeah. But it just kind of made them look. They, they didn't help them. Didn't help. Yeah, it's one of those like yeah. damn. It's gonna be hard. Like, Where's your thing? This is the last one. I don't have a Are comment. you not happy to see me? I'm happy to see you, bro, but I got nice. a comp, my boy. Comp. You know what a comp is? You know what a comp is? You for? don't have a competition. I got a comp. I'm an athlete, G. All American. First team All American. All state All American. They have a good song, though. I like the song. Bro, that's what I'm telling you. The, the, I'm not judging their music. I'm not judging their talent. This is just like them as a whole and like what they said, you know, and what they represent and them just missing that. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that she said that she hates the sirens and the stuff like bro to me i get such a kick of a, a kick out of that and um such beautiful culture like obviously nobody likes to get you know aw awakened by stuff like that of course but, but you don't say that yeah like to me when i'm in mexico and there's a company called seta gas mm -hmm. and in the morning the seta gas seta gas you know i would maybe can relate you know because um i'm from jalisco so maybe it's only there i don't yeah. know um, but that's it's cool. It's, it's right. It's so cool. It's so like it's so like uh, nostalgic. Blah, blah blah. I would never say like I hate that. They literally said it like as I'm like oh I don't like that. Like, right. They shit on it. Yeah. And then the other guy saying that like <laughs> I just don't like spicy food. Yeah, so. I'm a son in Washington. That's wild. I would understand if it's like I'm a son in like Los Angeles. Los Angeles. But he said Washington. I'm not hating on Washington. I've been in Washington. <laughs> kidding, no. I've been in Washington. My cousin from Washington, and I love it there. It's yeah, cool. yeah, for sure. But for like, sure. bro, he, they made Washington himself, people know that they made themselves look so ridiculous. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Did I tell you that I had a top three cruda of my life? I saw you post about it. Was that true? Bro, top three. What does that mean? I'm a guy that if I drink a lot, I wake up and like, yeah, I'm crudo. Yeah, but fuck it. But like, whatever. Like, what's a beer and a shot not going to fix, right? Bro, I was sick. Sick. I woke up the next day. I went to the restaurant because we had breakfast and then i couldn't eat and it's funny because when i woke up and i was like oh okay let me get ready like i didn't feel that bad until i was on the car i was in the car and i was like going towards the restaurant and i got to the restaurant i sat down i couldn't eat any of the food i felt like i was about to throw up and i never feel that way bro if people who are close by people who are close to me they know that i don't throw up yeah i don't get the spinnies i don't like you know, I don't stay dead for a while. I'm I'm a trooper. I, uh, you know, fuck, I'm I feel like shit, but fuck it. Yeah, but fuck it. Like a beer and two shots. Boom, I'm back. Um, You feel me? Yo, yeah, I feel you. I, yeah, I get you. So this time, the night prior, in, 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 Par in Paris, you drink a lot of champagne. Mm, ooh, that's hangover galore. Yeah, but I got to tell you, like, ever, ever since me being in Paris and Barcelona, and then we went to Ibiza, we got a lot of champagne. Like I fuck with champagne. You like champagne? It's now. good, cause that's hangover, bro. Low key it is, but I don't know. It just it just felt so nice to drink champagne. I don't know why. Okay, and I get it. Yeah, champagne yeah, is yeah, great, but yeah. you ain't fucked up on champagne. Hangover yeah. Central. Yeah, hangover. There's Boulevard. a drink that Karen actually introduced me to. Um, she ordered it. Was called a. It was called a Saint martin or saying something like that mm -hmm. and it's like champagne or something else and it's so good bro. it's almost like a mojito but like more champagne -y. but anyways the night prior champagne 
old fashions, like I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Tequila. Um, That's terrible. And some more stuff. You can stop right there. And, and I think I, I woke up the next day and I was just like insanely crudo. Not like head, head throbbing, none of that. Just very crudo. Like I was at the restaurant. I go upstairs and oh my God, it was insane because where we were sitting at, the rest, the bathroom at the restaurant was upstairs. So bro, I would go, I had anxiety too, like big time anxiety. Anxiety through the roof, yeah. Like, like it, was, it wasn't even like anxiety or like a guilty conscious. It was more kind of like, oh my God, I have so much anxiety right now that I'm just like going up to the bathroom, going back and sitting down, going up to the bathroom, going it's back. Antsy as fuck. Bro, and I was like, okay, like let me try to fix it. When you drink? I had a beer, I chugged the beer and then I chugged a uh, Coke Zero. Bro, and I was like, okay, this should make me feel a little better. Nothing, bro. I was just like so sick. And I was like, I have to throw up. I need to throw up. I was like, I need to stop what I'm doing. Just go go throw, up. throw up. I go upstairs to the restroom, um, in the restaurant. I barely go like this. Bah! Scared me. Bro, and since I just had the soda and the beer, it's all gassy. My chest hurts <laughs> so bad. Oh shit! And I've never project. Sorry, everybody. I never projectile vomited like that ever in my life. And then you felt better. And then I felt decent. Actually, yeah, I did feel better. Then you drank. You had a drink to kind of like get yourself. No, after. But then I still went home and I slept for like three hours, bro. You probably just needed to sleep. Yeah. Wow. I felt insane. This isn't cool. even at a. You guys haven't even arrived at a Ibiza yet. Mm -mm. This is pre Ibiza. No. I wasn't hungover in Ibiza. I don't get hungover like that. If I'm hungover, I can champ it out. I won't tell you I'm hungover. I'll champ it out. Do you think that maybe it was like like something with the food too? Like maybe you ate something bad that just fucked your stomach up? I don't know, bro. I, I just honestly think it's the champagne. The, the, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the, yeah. The, the old fashioned, the tequila. But nobody else felt like that. I had something else. Uh, Karen was pretty down bad that day too, but not, not like you. Me. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, bro, it was a good trip, man. It, it looked fun. Trip. It looked yeah. crazy fun, bro. Look at you guys had it. It was. I just life. would never go any. I did seven flights in two weeks. In two weeks, seven nah, flights. Not into it. L.A. Yeah, to Paris, which is the longest flight. It's about 10, 11 hours. L.A. L.A. to Paris. That's one flight. Paris to Barcelona. That's two flights. Barcelona to Ibiza. Three flights. Ibiza to Mallorca, that's four flights. Mallorca back to Barcelona, that's five flights. Barcelona to JFK. JFK to LA. JFK to LA, seven flights, Damn. bro. And crudo. Every flight except well, for yeah, the flight because there. we're like enjoying every single day. We're yeah. drinking, you know, we're staying up late. We're really enjoying our moment and yeah when did you start feeling normal shit my friends had eight flights because they had a layover from the beginning from la to like new york and then paris i had i took a direct oh wow yeah damn bro i would never do that many flights in my life especially when i'm partying like that yeah. or like i'm having a good time yeah unless you have a pj yeah but bro i'm gonna tell you right now barcelona is where it's at yeah barcelona's sick like amazing amazing culture food is amazing nightlife is insane uh, Barcelona, if you don't know, it's it's it's, it, it's a beach town. Yeah, obviously it's in Spain. Well, maybe people don't know. Maybe people yeah, don't. You're know. right. You're right. But it's a beach town. Yeah. So it's very lively. A lot of culture. A lot of amazing architecture. A history. It's, it's and everybody food. speaks Spanish. And, and the Spanish is in, the Spanish is cool, so you can get yeah. around. Yeah. 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 Damn, bro. Yeah, but I'm glad to be back, bro. And I'm glad. And there's gonna be so much. Two to weeks do. is a long time to travel, though, huh? Yeah, it's too much, man. It's a lot. You lose your routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of throws you off. Mm -hmm. kind of throws you off. You, you get to a point where you start really looking forward to being home. Hey, and all you're I'm, thinking about is being home and getting your back to your routine. Yeah, and it's hard to get back to the routine. And then it's hard to get back into it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you're that, when you're gone so far, you get used to the time. Yeah, yeah. So then you're not jet lagged. Are you jet lagged still? No, I'm actually not that bad. Okay. I'm actually not that bad, yeah. When you got back, you guys got back Thursday night? I've just been waking up early. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I've been going to sleep nicely, like at night. You know, I'm not. Because your body's waking up early. Yeah, but my body, but my body, but my body. You love me? Yeah. No more, bro. I can't. No more. No more shots, bro. I got a comp. I got a comp. Please, bro. I, I will do it for you. Just know that dude, I'll do it by myself. But I'll do it for do you. Do it by yourself. I, I would do it. For I have you. a comp. Just one little one. I can't, bro. Okay. 
We're about to end the podcast. It's over. Party's over. G, I got to edit AI via AI. Via AI. All right, G. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna like tell you anything else. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks, bro. What do you think the next part of AI, like the next evolution of AI, is gonna be? Like, what? Give me your, give me your like three predictions of the future. Don't go into this extensive analysis. Just give me three. Like, there's gonna be flying cars in in the next fifty years. Quick analysis. Go. Uh, I don't know. Maybe AI is gonna be generated like cemented to your iphone okay so like siri will be an ai okay i think that's going to be something mm -hmm. um i think ai not only from text texting or like from actual like you ask ai something it's going to tell you something back right it's going to be more like a person or like yourself you can make yourself do something not like in real life yet but more animated okay like it make it, you know how you can make your own emoji like like yeah. that like it might do something like that where it's like it'll talk and maybe it'll talk just like you okay um and i think it'll be in video games now or something like that ai no yeah yeah, yeah. That's the more technology we have the faster it grows yeah 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 i think i think there's gonna be something with like contacts too like i think like eventually we're gonna be able to pop shit in our eye yeah. and it's gonna be like our phones are gonna be in our eye yeah, like I mean, that doesn't sound that crazy no they already do it with glasses yeah like i think you could pop them in oh you, you see that black mirror episode where they're able to like record everything through their like yeah. contact lens all that all that shit is possible super doable yeah. because we know we we technology has advanced so much you're like absolutely that's doable yeah you know but i feel like 50 years ago Ugh. if you were told we're gonna have devices that everybody's gonna be glued to and they're gonna have like access an endless access technology that would sound so crazy uh. that sounds so insane but i think so even like the contact thing even like you were told them that back then that's like you're 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 you're, you're a fucking loony right yeah. you're a loony loony yeah. goon but loony. now like telling me that like if i heard that i'm like oh yeah that, that next 10 years that'll be around seems super if it's not already al around already yeah and they're just kind of like keeping it thousand percent yeah well episode 102 in the books La Platica on tastealud.com to get 10% off. Um, remember, you can watch this on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or here on YouTube where you can actually see our faces, our expressions, the love we have for each other. Mm -hmm. Looking at us take shots. Mm. I don't think we're that ugly. Watch this on YouTube. Man. Find out yourself. Ma -a. Ma -a. La Platiquita. <laughs> you already know what's the deal. <laughs> My boy. I couldn't even hear that, but I'm sure it sounded great. I don't got the headphones. Episode 102. On. That's right. I want to see you with headphones on the next episode. We'll see My, what boy. Happens, My boy. What's you what feel me? Everybody back at home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, that's episode 102. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do. I guess so. That's what we do. Queso. Queso, My K -so. boy. Queso. Queso. Queso and Cerizo. Love that. Put that on some eggs. And remember. Put that on some eggs. A mí no más me gusta comer chicken. <laughs> chicken. Es que yo soy delicado. Es que, like, pero, like, con nada on it. Hey, plain Jane. Pero, like, nada. Like, ni los, ni los. Don't even put them on the fire. Que, keep the chicken. No más un vaso de agua y I'm good. <laughs> like, pero así, porque a mí ni me gusta que pique. I want to bring them on the podcast, see what they would say. You fight them or what? Nah, I'm not gonna fight him. Man, he's he's like, fight, bro, like, like, you said that. Now, what would you say? Right. And did you think it was wrong for you to say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, and then I would force him to drink fucking sol and bolsita. Bro, but you know what that whole expression when people say, "Are you, are you, are you sorry, or are you sorry you got caught?" So that situation is kind of like that. Like, it's like, are do you do you realize what you said is like like maybe not the best answer or are you just saying that you realize it because you saw how people reacted to it all yeah. you know what i mean like we'll never really know ojos, ojos vemos corazones no sabemos Ay. you know what i mean wow so that's kind of sexy well, that's worse i'm a decent man episode 102 decent men signing out hashtag mondays don't suck we back on no, mondays no, my boy <laughs> and they never will adios they might every once in a while Arras. Con leche. No, I did something else. Arroz con chicken. <laughs> but like, just like that, so like, like plain, bro. But like plain, like, hey. a mí no me gusta todo eso. <laughs> con chicken. <laughs> chicken, like, yo nomás como puro chicken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pero like, pero con nada, como like alas.
<laughs> yeah, I'm on, bro. I know, I'm just <laughs> late. <laughs>